PAC founder Robert Tsubukwe. We're now joined by PAC leader Nares Maloto. Thank you for being with us, uh, Mr. Maloto. 40 years since his death, uh, an anti-apartheid icon. How, how should Robert Tsubukwe be remembered? Look, he's an icon of um, the liberation struggle in this country. We in the PAC, we, um, we, we regard him, we see him as a special person. Uh, because he was, um, um, his, his activities and his works followed him. You know, he's one of the person who was um, sentenced to Robben Island by Parliament. Uh, the Parliament was called specially to discuss his incarceration. And describing him, the then Minister of Justice, that is a, is a man with magnetic personality who must be held until the east side of eternity. And that's basically how he was treated. He's a man who has given his entire life to the cause of the struggle for liberation. He was well educated, able to live a comfortable life. But uh, he dedicated his entire life, and, and, uh, and as you are aware, he, he was never with his family. He spent much of the time, his entire life, but more importantly, he was shielded um, from speaking to other people. His influence was a problem. What um, the authorities uh, didn't, um, were trying to prevent, or did not allow, was his influence. As uh, I've already said that uh, once he speak to people, they followed him. And for that reason, and that reason alone, now the people that were sentenced to Robben Island, you can find fault here and there. This one was a real political prisoner who was, as I said, uh, sentenced by parliament through a legislation which was quickly rushed, known as Sobukot Laws. Uh, and he was mentioned in parliament today. You said a special parliamentary session around him. Today, a special parliamentary session around land, which is something that he was passionate about. Yes. We do appreciate that uh, the people of this country have now realized even uh, more than ever before, the role and his ideas that he played during the time of... So we appreciate and we saw also in number of other legislation, include, including uh, uh, King of, of Kezadan, also uh, uh, appreciating, honoring him. So we do appreciate. But his legacy is still with us. I mean, what he taught us uh, is that um, we should not be uh, selfish. We must dedicate ourselves, our lives as people to the development of our people. We must love our people, we must love ourselves, and we must work for the economic and uh, social development of our people. All right, let's listen to that uh, reference in Parliament from the EFF leader, Julius Malema. It, it was in the context of a warning to the Democratic Alliance, uh, which is in coalition uh, with uh, the EFF in some municipalities, and tensions now rising because of land questions. Let's take a listen. The 6th of April, as I conclude, the day of the Jan van Riebeck arrival, 6th of April, the day of Jan van Riebeck arrival, the day of the formation of the PAC by Sibukwe, and the hanging of Solomon Matlangu, in honor of these people, but also as a demonstration of seriousness about this issue of land, we will be passing a motion of no confidence on the mayor of PE as a warning shot to the DA. Uh, and saying at one stage, in the name of Robert Tsubukwe. So, so tell us Robert Tsubukwe's uh, intellectual ideas, the, the argument he would make around land, and, and uh, how would he feel about this motion being passed today? Look, Tsubukwe was able to, to define the nature of the struggle, the issues involved about the struggle for liberation. And the struggle for liberation in this country was basically emanating from the, the land disposition. Now, even... Um, in 1910, um, when the Union of South Africa formed a government, the first issue they have done politically was to come with the law known as the uh, 1913 Land Act, which was subsequently amended um, an increase in 1936. So land has, already been, uh, has always been a fundamental issue to the struggle. The liberation struggle was waged around the land. Now, the liberation was not only about liberating people, 
you liberate the people and the land. Because around land, that's where you begin to constitute a nation. You constitute yourself as a nation. You begin to develop. You begin to, to, uh, to have the program both uh, uh, socially and economically. Mm -hmm. Without land, but it's also a God-given. Uh, if we have to talk about the, the wealth and the distribution of the wealth of the country, where is it? It's in the land. So the PAC defined the struggle clearly in those particular terms. And he never compromised when it come to what are the issues involved in the struggle. Well, very quickly, then, how do you restore land? What, what's the process? Uh, what ideas uh, would he have that could help uh, in, in, in redistribution, in, in restitution, in all the things that we're battling with? Look, the, the piece has been clear on that issue. You attain political power, which has been attained here. But this political power, unfortunately, has not been used for the development of social and economic uh, conditions of our people. The focus, once you have political power, political power is not for personal use or for use to benefit few, few people. It, does, it must benefit uh, the, the citizens. And the citizens, when you talk about the uh, equitable distribution of the world, we are saying that let's begin to see what can we do uh, to address the needs of our people. Now, that were clear ideas of, of um, uh, Robert Mangalisa Sobukas, the, the, the president of the PAC. And those are the ideas that some of the people basically ridiculed us and the PAC, particularly from, if, if, if you can remember, that when PAC was chased out of Cordesa, it was purely on the question of land, where mm. we said, look, this issue ought to be resolved. Because if you liberate people uh, politically, and you don't address the issue of the land, you are going to frustrate them. What happened? Uh, at 20, 20 years, everybody began to realize that the PSC was correct. And uh, because now, if the people don't have a place to stay, they cannot begin to, to, to develop to, um, uh, the, 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 themselves because they are, they, are, they are struggling. What we've been doing, we've been uh, extending the original townships which were not necessarily meant for human settlement. They mm. were labor, uh, uh, what to reserve place all along the townships. But what, what happened for the past 24 years, we've been expanding them with squatter camps in former settlement. That is the idea uh, that the PAC, Robert Sewoko in particular, foresaw and told that uh, unless the liberation is total and complete and it's inclusive of the land, it's not going to benefit the ordinary people. Yeah, living to tough uh, living conditions. Thank you so much, uh, very much. Uh, Naris Maloto, PAC President, uh, remembering the life and times of Robert Tsubuku.